Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do financial awareness mcqs for the month of august 2024 for first 15 days of august 2024 so this session is very very important for ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 level exams so let's start the session before starting let me tell you ibps rrb scale 2 2024 course is available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes and the test series link to join the course is available in the description please check okay so question number 1 let me just hide my face what is the main advantage of c2 trades platform for msmes i have already taught this particular all these topics yesterday on youtube itself please check the previous session uh link is available in the description so what is the main advantage of c2 trades platform so i hope you are already aware of the trades platform so c2 trades uh, to provide liquidity within 24 hours at competitive rates right so that is the purpose of c2 trades what is the name of first dedicated website for passive funds in india launched by sebi at nse that is india passive funds.com that is the name of website which payment technology powers a contactless payments uh, featured in the kota go q uh, smart smart vital uh, plus was smart watch so with the smart watch you can make payments contactlessly the name of the technology is rupay on the go so without uh, you know adding your pin without inserting your pin you can make payments uh, contactless up to 5000 rupees What is the primary goal of Swift recent AI driven pilot project in collaboration with Axis Bank the goal is to combat payment frauds payment frauds and cross border transactions right that's a goal what is the primary purpose of RBI's draft see it is a draft circular right so we shouldn't do this actually but what is the primary purpose regulatory principles for management of model risk in credit as the name suggest to manage and mitigate risk associated with use of models in credit management so according to updated rbi guidelines how must all provisions for npa must be recognized they must be recognized as an expense in profit and loss account jo provision hai doubtful debts wali usko profit and loss account mein dalenge also that would be considered for कैपिटल एज वेल कैपिटल का भी पार्ट माना जाएगा बट उसको एक्सपेंस uh, साइड में डालना पड़ेगा अकॉर्डिंग टू ए एस फाइव अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड फाइव वट इज द नेम ऑफ द साइबर सिक्योरिटी लैब लॉन्च बाय द आई आई टी मद्रास एंड आई डी बी आई बैंक दैट इज आई डी बी आई 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 टी एम मद्रास सिक्योर सिस्टम्स लैब so what was the reduced alternative minimum tax rate for cop uh, the cooperative societies recently updated to 15% abhi 15% ho gaya pehle 18.5% hota tha so according to sebi's latest guidelines what is the new valuation methodology mandated by sebi for additional tier 1 bonds yield to call yield to call means you are assuming that you are not going to sell the bonds till the maturity right What was the decision regarding the repo rate uh, during the RBI MPC meeting held from 5th to 7th August 2024 it remained unchanged at 6.5% So what is the minimum investment threshold for new asset class proposed by SEBI that is 10 lakh rupees so it is rupees rupees 10 lakhs so minimum threshold is uh, for the new asset classes 10 lakh rupees so uh, you know right now the maximum investment in one security let's say in hdfc bank one mutual fund scheme can invest up to 10% in one stock but in the new asset class this limit is proposed to be 20% so lot many changes are there uh, the the funds they can invest in डेरेवेटिव एज वेल बहुत यू नो इंडिपेंडेंट हो जाएंगे फंड सो टिल नॉ नॉट नॉट मैनी एक्चुअली नन ऑफ द फंड हैज़ बिन लॉन्च इन द न्यू एसेड क्लास कोई फंड लॉन्च नहीं हुआ है वेन एवर इट इज़ लॉन्च विल गेट टू नो मोर अबाउट इट विच टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कलाबरेटेड टू लॉन्च यू पी आई सेतु प्लेटफॉर्म पाइन लैब्स एंड एक्सिस बैंक दे कोलाबरेटेड 
that's a UPI focused payment platform. What is the new maximum transaction limit for tax payment through UPI? As per the recent RBI guidelines, it is 5 lakh rupees. Pehle 1 lakh rupees hoti thi, but now the limit has been increased to 5 lakh rupees. How often will credit institutions uh, be required to report credit information under the new RBI regulation starting January 2025 every 15 day Pehle they they need to do it every month but now it is every 15 day they need to uh, you know uh, provide credit reports for the borrowers. What are two tax options available for the property owners under the newly relaxed long term capital gain rules. See in the union budget, uh, the tax rate for uh, properties was slashed the long term capital gain uh, was slashed from 12% uh, from 20% to 12.5%. But indexation benefit was removed indexation benefit co concept he removed kar diya tha. But due to the backlash. Now there are two options either you pay 20% tax uh, with indexation or 12.5% without indexation you get two options how has a threshold for substantial interest for directorship has been uh, changed by the banking laws amendment bill 2024 uh, so it is a bill not an act abhi tak pass nahi hua jab hoga we'll see uh, see it it has been increased from 5 lakhs to 2 crores substantial interest for the directorship increased from 5 lakh to 2 crores so abhi itna zyada information nahi hai whenever it becomes an act we i'll I'll teach that for sure. What is the name of the first fractional ownership platform to receive the SMREIT license that is property share property share is the name of the platform. Under the SBI Jackson engineers limited partnership, what is the maximum loan amount SBI is going to offer to support the deployment of rooftop solar projects 10 crore rupees it's 10 crore rupees. So I guess that's all for today students. I hope you like the today's session. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts. This is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts link to join the course is available in the description. If there is any doubt, please ask your doubts. And that's all for today list of our successful students in the past all these students that took our courses and they cracked the respective exams. And I'm really, really happy for them. Uh, that's all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.